Hey, 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 I'm back. Hard, sexy comedy with Hillary Herbert and Josh Elman. Who's back? I'm back. <laughs> Josh, welcome back. Thank you, thank you, Hillary. How was how was, how was, was your... well? More importantly, how was thank you me not being oh. here for a month? How was you not being here? Um, I went through different emotions. Mm -hmm. Uh, Was there abandonment issues? You know, I didn't feel, no, I didn't go through abandonment. You are very responsive. Oh boy, wait, hold on. Despite that one moment where you told me I was bad at communicating. (laughs) <laughs> I thought about this and any time I have gotten frustrated when it gets fixed immediately when I'm like pissed like anything I want changed like because all of a sudden am I setting a bad precedent for you that you need to get frustrated for me to fix something immediately because oh. I don't think I don't think I spend any I don't think I waste any time fixing something it's, no, when it's, you're not it's frustrated. Not, no, no, no. It's not that it to me. It's things that are like I shouldn't have to ask this kind of thing. OK, but but that's that's a that's a that's a me problem, too, because I get frustrated like um I had a therapist tell me sort of, and I disagree with them. I don't, or at least this is certainly not how I handle myself. Um, that you, with friendships, manage friendships. Like you have to, like if you're in a relationship with someone like a friendship and th- you, maybe you feel that they're taking advantage of you or something, that that it's, you maintain the friendship and you just let them know, you know, you set boundaries or something like that. Don't take advantage of me. Do you I, think you, I do? I, no, 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 oh. no. I'm saying like if that came up for me, that person is now not somebody that I want in my life. Not someone, it, it, I have to tell a friend certain basic, you know what I mean? Anyway, I have a frustration towards that, I guess. I have a, a high standard. And I think it comes out in other ways of communication where like, to me, if you know that you have such and such amount of time to edit the podcast, then like, I don't know what I don't know. I get frustrated with that kind of thing too. I don't know what I don't know. I think, well, if we we were to get into the specific of the one situation where you got frustrated, I had sent you everything and you sent me notes And I was like, oh, great. Okay, I'll do this in the morning tomorrow. I have my notes and everything. And then when I woke up to do it in the morning, which was, you know, 4 a.m. L.A. time, I suddenly had an email, a message from you being like, oh, can you can you also cut this one other part? And there's no time signature. So guess. So guess (laughs) which guess which part I mean. And I'm okay, like, but here's and, I'm, thing. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I thought I had the notes and I had put the, si- the time aside. Um, Josh, I missed you. <laughs> and it was this was a way to get for ex- this was a way to increase communication. You know what? <laughs> if I can be myself, I'm pretty with sure someone... I ended up I'm pretty sure I ended up editing the rest of that episode that night at like two in the morning with COVID. You never. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> You're so. I I'm, I I I got I tested You're so full of shit. I tested negative for COVID, but I was in bed for four straight days, and I did not get out of my bed. I don't think I ate for four straight days. Yeah, I definitely could tell that you were sick, sick. Yeah, yeah, like there was no way I was skipping shows unless I was ill. Yeah, and I was I. But that's not what we're talking about. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying. I'm okay. just saying. When my commitment is questioned, I literally sat there you... editing the episode. As deathly ill as I felt in years. You know what? I, here's what it is. I like that I can talk to you how I talk to you and we just keep going. And, and it's for me, it's great. <laughs> I don't know how great it is for you, 
but I think we're rolling. Um, yeah, I missed you. It was really fun having Nikki um, fill in, fill in, and do our girl thing. And uh, a lot of my, I am so uncomfortable. Okay, a lot of my lady friends are. Um, they really liked. I got some good uh, Nikki feedback. Um, they like Nikki better than me. No. Oh. <laughs> no, I do the knew lady you were friends, gonna... Do the lady friends give you good Josh feedback? Uh, What's the Josh feedback from the lady well, friends? Well, I, I, what I do get is um, people that I really respect, uh, like you were saying, that's important to you when you get your words of affirmation, um, saying, like, Adrian Lauren loves the podcast. Yeah. She listens to every episode. Um, I think she watches them on YouTube and, um, cause she said, no, she listens to them, but she said when she got the, to the Alfred episode, she was like, oh, I have to watch this one on YouTube. Um, and then Onyx left me a message the other day and I'm not, it was personal, but it was just, um, really touching and I just wasn't expecting it about the podcast and, uh. Um, Amanda got to the episode. Anyway, there's a lot of a lot of support. With that said, I've been muzzled, so I am now more limited in my scope of topics. What do you mean you've been muzzled? I've been requested to not speak about certain things, I think understandably. Okay. And so I will now no longer be speaking about certain things i suppose okay so at the 10 minute mark or the nine minute mark i cut when i ask you what the certain things you're not supposed (laughs) to talk about anymore (laughs) on the podcast are so that i can so that i can make notes of it when i'm recording it was a request made in a professional meeting okay yeah Yeah. we'll leave it at that which i'm pointing i'm talking to the camera like i'm not cutting this part out Well, maybe we won't. But when I send you this, remember to remind me to cut nine ten to nine fifty. Uh, <laughs> um. So here's what I want to know about. Boy, you still didn't answer my question. Wait, what was your well, question? <laughs> it's funny how my question was like, "What are people saying about me?" And your answer was like, "Well, people told me to stop talking about these things about me." Oh, <laughs> right. Um, you were like, oh, like Adrian Lauren's listening to the episode. I was like, what do people think of me? Well, Adrian Lauren's been listening, well, and she had I, nothing you know, to say I about you. You know, I gotta tell you, <laughs> I gotta tell you, I don't, I, ha- I, I don't know that I've gotten a specific. You got specific feedback about Nikki. People were like, we like Nikki, so that's like an underhanded way of them saying, keep, keep Nikki. Let's, let's get rid of this Josh guy. <laughs> We really so, noticed. We really noticed a big step so up in the podcast. I will give you. Once, uh, I will give you a compliment. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's what I like. Uh, <laughs> Words of affirmation. What is the, why is this here now? What? This. My. Uh, well, to hold on to the. But but it's never been here before. Yeah, it has every time. I think Wait, usually it's what? sitting over here. This is where you put your drinks on when we when we were drinking the other day before. This my, has not been here. I every promise time. you. No, because I keep meaning to make a note to tell you to stop putting one your garbage can here. My garbage and then can's there. It's right here. Yeah. Okay, we'll cover this later. Okay. This has not always been right. I'm here. telling you. Look, look back. We'll look I back am on in the a YouTubes. different dimension. Well, on on a following on a follow up episode to this, we'll answer the question as to whether or not this is. A, it may not be in this spot, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's been out in the general area. I'm talking about this spot. Yeah, this is where I put the the recording device on to review to keep an eye on it while we're recording. No, it's. Wait, I want to hear this compliment. We've been okay. really. <laughs> there's been three minutes since I've begged for a compliment. Um. <laughs> uh, I was really looking forward to doing the podcast again with you. Aw, thank you. I was looking forward to it too. Um, it's for me emotionally. It's easier to banter with a guy um, because with a woman, and Nikki is like just so supportive 
so professional, so funny, such a like such an absolute like honor and treat to so that she talks on my podcast. I mean, that's yeah, like, I know Nikki's it's Nikki's crazy. like Nikki's like a podcasting pro, and I look forward to having her every time that you can't be there. Aww. But you're my podcast. Thank you, partner, thank you. I appreciate so. it. Um, and it, it is emotionally easier for me. And I enjoy doing it because um, with women, I. The episodes get a little heavier. I, it's it's they get heavier. I'm also more offensive to women than I am to men, mm-hmm. and um, I want to be myself completely. And sometimes it, I'm aggressive sometimes, or I'm whatever, or I'm just blunt, or like whatever it is, um, direct. I guess people say, and you know, Nikki like is so gracious and bounces with that, and she's so herself such a strong person. But I've always had a. Can I? Can it, it's I, always been easier for me I, to talk to men. Can I give my perspective on, yeah. on probably what that is specifically? Okay. Is that I think, you know, whether you're talking to me or Nikki or someone else, you have no bones about getting into heavy subject matter. Mm-hmm. And I think women, Nikki or otherwise, their instinct is to support and care and hold and help. And I have no problem completely undercutting <laughs> the extremely emotional, personal thing you just said with a cutting joke that I came up with while listening to You're it. You're referring to my favorite joke on the podcast, too, I think. Which is yeah, but I think in general it, I do the it. But the timing of that, <laughs> when you were talking Josh, about- I for weeks after, <laughs> when I was talking about my dad dying and your line at the end, for weeks after I would just be like walking in my kitchen and just start cracking up. It was so funny. It was so funny. <laughs> I did, but did, did, but I will also say that I probably I am at, anytime I hear anyone talk about like a parent's death or hear a song where it comes up or anything, I always call my parents like the first chance I get after that because you know I get I have tons of anxiety. Doesn't mean I can't like in that moment right, 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 <laughs> completely right, right. undercut my emotions with humor. Right, right, but afterwards, right. I'm like, I need to call them, make sure they're okay. Right? <laughs> Are you okay, mom and dad? I love you. Right. Well, that's the interesting thing I've noticed about. I feel like never mind. I feel like we, I talk about the podcast a lot, but it's Boy, really but, something. I mean, it's like kind of a mind fuck. But there is, but there, <laughs> but again, there's been no comments about me from anyone <laughs> to you. You don't understand. You're talking to someone who about five times a day checked online to see if there were any new user comments or reviews for my show at Edinburgh. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're caught up in that. Um, so what I want to know about your trip. I, so, so the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> There's been no. I, I'm, the answer I want to hear. Has been so clearly no, no that me and everybody watching are are are, are just thought tell, that tell you, you continuing to ask that was a bit, tell, and then we go, oh what. no, that wasn't tell, a bit. Tell you what, tell you what, you're gonna get some comments now. What do you? Well, you know what would help. They're gonna say they're gonna say Josh is real desperate for comments. You know what would help, Josh? <laughs> no one comments about anything. No one comments. You said people like Nikki. I'm I'm amazed that I'm that I still have a job now after all the positive feedback for Nikki. <laughs> I think your trip. Yes. Any women? No. You seem to be doing a lot of stand up. Tons. I had <laughs> I had women who like so <laughs> I had did you see the post about the mom who try who came when I was sick to try and set me up with her daughter? No. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, who cares if I did or not? I don't know. But like, because oh. I say no, and then you go, yes, you did. I saw that you did. And I'm like, okay, I don't know what I, what information I consume anymore. Well, when okay? I was sick, the guy who was filling in for me took a video of this w- older Jewish woman who came to the show, who had already come once before. Okay, so she came back and she brought came her back. daughter. And she didn't, were- she, she, her da- she thought I lived in New York and wanted me to set her up, set me up with her daughter in mm-hmm. New York. She was a kind of hot, older Jewish lady. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, kind of curious about this daughter. <laughs> and is that the end of the story? That's the end of the story. I wasn't there. I was sick in bed. Oh, right, right, right. But my friend filmed interviewing her about it and sent it to me, and then I posted it on Instagram. Well, she didn't want to pass on her daughter's Instagram? I mean, what is this? Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of ended there. Okay. <laughs> um, 
No woman in Edinburgh. I mean, like, friends. That you had sex with? No. No, that would count as... I would have, I would have answered yes. I thought... I left myself available to something happening mm-hmm. and then just nothing quite did. Interesting. But also, I was so in a... I have a question. Mm-hmm. Were you hoping for that to be like a... Of course. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping for the most interesting thing to have happened. I know. Listen, I was... I Whatever was, that may be. I was hopeful that something would happen too. I don't, I don't know. You Typically, when I go traveling, I do end up hooking up with somebody. It just didn't happen this trip. Mm-hmm. Um, there were challenges for that in that I was staying three miles away from where everything was happening. Mm. Most people stayed like that right is there. not helpful. That'll kill it right there. That makes it, it really did. And I w- and I also didn't have my own place three miles away. I was renting a room in a house. Oof. So like, so just like in my mind, the idea of like, like orchestrating the necessary logistics of hooking up with somebody while I was there. No, seemed, you would have had to be with someone who was like, come here, I'm going to take care of this for us. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they needed, they would have had to have had their yeah. own situation. A lot of the, also a lot of the people I was hanging out with were staying in like a communal dorm with each other. So like, it would be like people my age, people in like their late thirties who were all staying in student housing because that was the only affordable thing close to the festival. That's one interesting thing I found out when you find out that like the people at the Olympics are all having sex. Yeah, I know. And this is people have so referred, cool. people have referred to Edinburgh as like the performer Olympics. Oh. It very much in a way does feel like that. Um, and also performers are probably some of the horniest, weirdest people in the world. It just, just didn't happen for me. Wow. There were people who would hit on me after my show. Mm-hmm. Um, but it just like there was. There it was, wasn't the hand holding that you needed. Yeah. And it's a, it was a little chaotic. Also, I think I presented myself as more financially destitute in my show than I actually am. Mm -hmm. And I feel like some women were like, I don't don't know (laughs) about this when I was kind of like hamming it up for the show a little bit. Mm -hmm. I did a whole thing because like, so I was in the free fringe, which is no one cares. No one cares. No, 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 this is this is this. this, There will be a point and a funny thing at the end of this. All right. Never mind. Fine. No, 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 no. no. I have no, no, it's gone. It's gone. And all of you. (laughs) All of you out there who were curious where I was going with that will never know. And you have Hillary to blame. No, you said. <laughs> it's gone. We're moving on. No Nobody one cares. cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares about about what I was about to say. They really don't. They really don't. The truth is Hillary just doesn't care. Um, but now a little bit does. <laughs> now a minor now a minor curiosity that'll never be filled. No. Uh yeah. What about you? Any guys while I was gone? <laughs> All right. Is there a new crush? Any any updates with old crushes? Wow. Um, Is that something I need to mark down? Twenty three minutes. <laughs> it's okay. So nine minutes and twenty three minutes. I don't know. Okay. I'm just gonna. God. We might have to cut this all out. Uh, all right. But then well, let's should I not, start talking about it? No, not? if you're gonna cut it, then I don't want to hear it. I, <laughs> I. <sighs> you're like gauging right now what you're willing to talk about publicly. Yeah, or like. Well, I got like, I got like, like people tattletale on me. What do you mean? mean? Like people will listen to the podcast and then go say, oh, hey, did you hear to what? Like, I can't get into it, but it's really kind of put me in a headspace where I got to just like push But those tattletales are never commenting on my performances. They're never like they're never like, did you hear what Hillary said to that hilarious comedian Josh Edelman <laughs> on her podcast the other day? She said that he made some amazing jokes about it, but can you believe she said? <laughs> well, 
Um, so yeah, I guess I can just, I've just got to, I got to make sure I've got to talk about myself. Well, it's funny that you're like, you're Mm -hmm. like, can you believe people are telling other people about this thing I'm saying on this extremely public forum that I'm hoping the most people possible listen to, listen to it. Yeah, (laughs) I know. You know, honestly, honestly, the tattletaling is only going to help your, help your viewership numbers because you're going to get, like, I imagine if you're talking about them on the pod on a certain level, you do want them to hear the thing you're saying no i'm not like that necessarily i mean it it, like i'll put hidden have you ever heard of have you ever heard of journaling (laughs) (laughs) no i mean this is who i am you know what i mean like this was always going to be my life and uh that's just there's just nothing i can do it almost feels it almost feels um Almost, it almost feels like a low self-esteem thing that you're like, um, that you're like, all right, if I go talk about these things I want no one to hear about in a very public forum, no one will hear about them. <laughs> I mean, I used to joke that Twitter is where I went to write all my personal thoughts because it was the safest place to no, put no, them. No, 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 no. That's, <laughs> it's totally different for me. For yeah. me, it's, um, that, uh, a lot of people can I have a gift to communicate things in a certain way and I do believe in having that it's a responsibility I have to do the best to give myself as much as possible in the way that I was designed to be here Mm -hmm. So um, it's always come up for me when I've gotten to like a certain point, like when I was doing UCB and I was getting a lot of attention and like people would look at my Twitter and stuff like that. Um, I, you know, you have to test. You have to play around and find, you know, your direction and voice and all that stuff. And um, I would get pushback from certain people in my life and um, adjust myself. And that is, it's not my responsibility to... Adjust yourself for them? I mean, there's certain things like in this situation and um, it having to do with family and stuff, um, I... I I totally get it. Mm-hmm. Um, at the time, that was more like Twitter jokes and stuff like that, and it pushed back in different ways. Like someone, oh, I don't think it's funny, or someone's like, you know, someone, clo- whatever. It just it was. I didn't want to feel like I was bad. I didn't want to feel like I was. Um, I ha- I don't like making other people uncomfortable it's never my intention so like like I always use this net like when I'm listening to music like if when I was living in an apartment and I was listening to music or at any point in my life anywhere um I can't enjoy listening to the music if I think it's bothering somebody else and I feel that way about anything to a certain extent but I ha- in in when it comes to me, I truly don't believe necessarily that anyone else is even real. So when I'm going through life, I'm not taking in other people's opinions or. I think that's uh, a psychological disorder. I'm um, sure it is. Not thinking anyone else is real, like 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 almost like like. Descartes, I think therefore I am, but but that's all I know. It's a good way to re- to consider, to play around with, to reset your brain mm-hmm. if you start letting other people think for so you. So I'm not real? <clears throat> Do I seem real? How real am I? I'm having an existential crisis right now that I'm just a figment of your imagination. <laughs> well, I joked while you were away. I joked that you were my handler for the Illuminati. Mm. Um, which I feel like I had at least one or two and shook them off already. 
Um, That's not like a thing you'll actually one day start worrying about. <laughs> what do you mean? That I'm a handler for the Illuminati. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'd be a real good actor. Um, yeah, so anyway, so I, uh, I totally get not talking about that stuff. But then I also don't talk about my family for all the same reasons. Am I falling out of my clothes? What's happening here? Um, so, and then, like, what's going on with me is, like, I don't want to talk about that either. <laughs> but what I really like to do, like, my comfort zone is, yeah, like, I'm, I'm really open. What I'm really mostly, the thing is, is, like, I really am curious about um, com my experience and other people's experiences and what other people's experiences yep. are. Like that's you know, fascinating this is, to me. This is, this is sort of like a Sex in the City podcast, although it's kind of more like a no sex in a secluded house <laughs> in Topanga <laughs> rather than... <laughs> <laughs> um, in a so, oh, so I'll say this. <laughs> secluded I'll say compound. This. <laughs> I will say this. Okay. I play around a lot with um, my ability to... What I'm going to say is like read people's minds, but it's not that. Mm -hmm. It's taking in... And this is, I think, a, probably some sort of psychosis thing, but um, <laughs> uh I can take in a lot of information non-verbally and and the sex stuff is it, uh, most strongly when it's sexually related if 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 it's sexual energy if it's you know two people in a room that have had sex like I don't need to have I don't need to know if they know each other like I can tell and you still haven't had sex since starting to record this podcast, right? Yes. Um, y yes, you have not, or yes, you have. Correct. You have. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not. I've not had sex. You've not had sex. No, I'm, okay. I'm Cur miserable. Questions, questions. Do you think? Do you think that? when you do finally have sex again that my special powers will go away no 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 uh, that uh that you'll either a be uninterested in continuing the podcast b be more interested in the podcast and like go and delving into to that or yeah i guess those are the two i've options. thought about that i've thought <laughs> about that i'm like oh well i just like fucking give up um depends on the situation i think um, Do you think if it's if it's like love, you'll be done with the podcast, or if it's like, because because then you're like, oh, mission accomplished, or or if it's if it's just lustful, pure, it's like, okay, well now here's another fun thing to talk about on the show. Well, so I didn't really, I just wasn't listening to what you just said, but um, <laughs> I was thinking of what I was going to say, but um, uh, I think that the the podcast for me is intended to grow uh, to take me on to do bigger and better things i mean to like stand up tour to like no host, i'm to not host, a stand up to host comedian a, to host a sex show on television um yeah whatever it is you know whatever sort of creative i don't um and you know i like having complete creative control mm -hmm. So that would, but I, there's, I'm also an improviser. So this is really right up my alley because I don't prepare. Mm -hmm. um, Which I think is the fun of a podcast. Uh, and uh, it's, it brings me great joy. Mm -hmm. um, with that said, if like the man of my dreams was like, I want but then I was like, even if I was, gonna, I was like, if the man of my dreams was like, I want you to have my baby and like raise my whatever, I would do that. But like, I think I would still do do the podcast. You know what I really like, and this is what was confusing me about some would stories the man about of, would the man of your dreams could the man of your dreams be somebody who's also like, I really don't like you doing this podcast, or would that ruin them being the man of your dreams? 
Yeah, I mean, that would be, that's insane. That I already have that. <laughs> <laughs> I already have that. Um, no, yes. 34. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. 9, 21, 34. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I like it if someone can, um, like, champion me, you know? But I don't need to be the the star of the a relationship you don't think so the re- uh, no of the relationship oh, of course oh, yeah okay i mean of careers oh okay like i wouldn't i'd w- be open to being a sidekick in your career or like behind the scenes what do you who what? you just said you don't need to be the star yeah meaning like um competing for like if if i got so popular that i was traveling all over the place i don't want that you know like i want to be sedentary. I am a homebody. I mean, I, yeah, I like being home. I know. I'm amazed you come out here to do the show, but I, I appreciate it. Well, that, okay. So I'm now looking to maybe move. Yeah. 35. <laughs> God, fuck. I knew when I was driving here, I was like, um, I was driving here. I was like, what if I just started sobbing? What if I just started crying? <laughs> are, are you having a tough time? Um, no, I mean, I, you know, it's the, I was just at, uh, getting my oxygen treatment and the guys were like, How are you doing? <laughs> there are so many, there are so many sentences. <laughs> there are so many sentences in this podcast that no other comedian with a podcast could afford to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a single other comedian that would ever be like, I was just having my oxygen treatments <sighs> at my <laughs> Edit. Please. 36. Basically, I'm just cutting 30 on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find a good cut point. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. So you were having your oxygen treatment. I'm a disaster. No, I'm wonderful. Everyone's, great. everyone's a disaster i feel good who, who do I you know great. who do I you know wonderful. especially in your life who do you know that's not a disaster i'm the most together person i know yeah that might no be, my coach a man no my all my coaches have it together actually that could be that could be a problem if you're the most together no person i'm not i know no no i'm not by far but uh my coaches are really uh solid my goal really is to be the least together person I know, meaning like that I'm with people who are more together than me. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But if I notice that I'm not, I let myself fall apart so that they are. Good for you. <laughs> um. Okay, so wait. I, okay, so I came. Oh, and I was like, oh, this is we really coming back to this was pointless. Oh, no, I already said that. Wait, where were we? So I was coming you for my oxygen You were worried about treatment. sobbing. Oh, yeah, I was worried about sobbing. You went for oxygen sobbing. treatment. I went for oxygen treatment. Oh, right. And the guys were like, because um, you were asking me, like, how am I? And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm fine. It's just I, the, they were asking me, they was like, how are you? And uh, <laughs> what is that. oxygen treatment? Uh, you sit in this, like, tube. And are we not breathing oxygen? Josh, it's just come on. Yeah, yeah. Agree, it's a no. like it's a hundred percent oxygen. Okay, it's pure oxygen. Yeah, it's the good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> for like an hour and a half. Okay. Yeah. And you feel great afterwards. I do feel great. Do you afterwards. feel like you could like do anything? Um, it you know it kind of keeps me just a little peppier like all week. Like I feel like more effort effervescent. I don't know like room breathing. Are, do we get do we get high when we have? the purest form of the well, thing that's supposed to be funny. literally just sustaining so us through I'll life. I'll take an edible um, sometimes before I go in and I get higher. Because mm. um, we can literally, like, you know, six minutes of being without oxygen and we're dead. Oh, really? I don't know what the actual number is, yeah. but I feel like I couldn't make it six minutes. Um. So they always, they're very accommodating and they're very nice and they always ask me how i'm doing Mm -hmm. and i was like yeah you know this is gonna be my new thing this is what i'm gonna say now wait what did i say hot healthy and rich (laughs) (laughs) pretty good 
<laughs> so can I can I tell you a thing that happened to me in Edinburgh that that's kind of related? Well, I used to say to them, "Up and not crying. How are you? Up and not crying." And the the concern that immediately would come over people's face was not worth it to me. I hear hot, healthy, and rich. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> I mean, I I would only say that uh, to certain people directly, and then to the hundreds of people that have. If I was saying hot, hot, healthy, and rich to people, they'd be like, and delusional. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And suffering from delusions of grandeur. Uh, When I was in Edinburgh, I went to this restaurant with my friends. We walked in, and the host was like, hey, how are you? And I just said, "Uh, table for three. And then she went, how are you? And I was, and I really wanted to be like a little worse now. (laughs) I was like, what, what what is this? No, wait. How are you? Yeah, but it wasn't it wasn't like it wasn't like out of concern. It was like oh. with, it was like with disdain that I didn't answer the oh. how are you question. I almost wanted to like start going into like I wanted to be like, yeah, well, you know, I just got raped. <laughs> Jesus, Josh. Because I want I was very upset with the. Well, you both sound like maniacs, frankly. 40. <laughs> that one's for me. <laughs> 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 um, oh, I can't say that word. <laughs> but like, but like, what? What is this? What is this? Like, like, do you really care how you don't care how I am? Why? I'm not a niceties person. I think. Did we? Have we talked about this? I feel like we have. That I'm not a niceties person. Wait, what's a ni- no, no, no nicety? Like, hey, how are you doing? Good oh, morning. Oh, oh, oh. Like oh. when I was at work. Oh yeah, you know what I've noticed? Like it's a little, you know. I mean, you you like greet me nicely when I come in. Yeah, but like it's not. I think it's in like in like work slash like hospitality sessions. Like I don't know. I think about oh, ironically. You know, no, iron- I'm on the complete ironically. Side. I hug people that i see on a regular but that's, basis but that's because you like them yes okay but you're not like hugging someone you feel nothing right for. but i absolutely will do niceties okay well okay let me give you my my I example of what ne- i almost never will just now, straight face someone i would have to be working through something internally and like not be able to be present can i give you a great example of why it bothers me sure so um for a while, I was editing music videos for this huge artist mm-hmm. from England, mm-hmm. and my bosses were in England. So every morning, I would wake up with like 20 WhatsApp messages of like what they needed me to do. And it was frustrating to wake up and see all the demands of myself from the moment I wake up. But it was like, okay, this is what I need to do today. Let me get myself ready. Let me start my day. And at 9 o'clock when I start, I'll start working on these things. But sometimes I had one producer who I'd wake up in the morning at, at like 8 o'clock and I'd see good morning. Not the list of things they wanted me to do. Good morning. And to me, all that good morning was is waiting for me to say good morning back so they could start hitting me with the things they wanted me to do and have the knowledge that I'm awake and aware that I'm being ordered around. Do you hear what I'm saying? Like I preferred You're just yelling, so yes, I can hear. What I you're preferred speaking. just getting the list of things they wanted because it's like, okay, great, this looks like a bunch of annoying things to do, but it's what I have to do. Let me mentally prepare, as opposed to like, hey, are you awake? Oh, with good morning was like, hey, are you ready to work? Hey, you ready to work yet? Let me know when you're ready to work, and then I'll tell you what you have to do. Just tell me what I have to do, and I'll do it. <laughs> that was that was how I felt. And what job was that again? Uh, editing music videos for a gigantic artist. Right. So, you know, one may go in the direction of picking up on that. You didn't want that job to go anywhere. You didn't want that. You didn't want to make that anything. Um, in what regard? If you had, you would have started messaging that guy first, saying, hey, I'm up. Let me know what I need to do, because that's what they were asking of you. Oh, maybe. I mean, they did love me. Um. <laughs> right, but I'm saying like if he's messaging yes, you at 8 a.m. and you go, I'm not starting till nine. Yeah, that's a now now okay. To to be fair, on top of that, um, I was mostly doing this job through the pandemic. Was like when it got real heavy, which was great because it was a lot of money and I was making that like during 
a time when I had no expenses. Yeah, yeah. But they got very accustomed to the fact that I was home 24 hours a day. Mm. So they would be like asking me for things as late as like 3 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it got to the point where I'm like, I'm already working till the moment I go to bed for you people. Right. Like the fact that you want me, you want me to have no life whatsoever. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, you're correct. I did not, that was not what I wanted. Yeah, they to do. wanted somebody that was going to. Well, the funny thing is I, I had quit twice and they begged me to come back. Oh, really? Yeah, that's happened at, at multiple jobs of mine. Yeah. <laughs> It'll happen here, I'm sure. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, part of why I do this is because I fully quit that. Okay, so what's fascinating to me, mm-hmm. excuse me, you like compliments and then you're going to say something like that to me. What do you mean? Part of why I do this is no, because. No, I love, no, my, okay, now let me, let me make this a compliment. Know what horse to bet on, Josh. Can, can I, can okay? I make, can I make, can I make why that's a, can I express why that's a compliment? Sure. I decided to eliminate things from my life that I didn't like doing. And what I didn't like was working for these people. But what I do like is working with you. So I've chosen to, I mean, like, like, bear in mind, they were paying me a lot of money. (laughs) You pay me well, too. But they were paying me, like, obscene money. Forty-five. Okay, so what's super interesting to me is um and I've talked about it a little bit with you before but um I am really really back to the psychosis um spot on with my intuition mm-hmm. and so that can come up in a lot of ways um for the most part it helps me navigate situations and, you know, I'll use it to my benefit. My real goal is that the CIA, CIA is going to notice me <laughs> and I'm hire sure. me as a spy. No, you want to be a spy. Or, you know, some sort of. Do you not feel like you're maybe a little too demanding to be a spy? Um, yeah, you're right. I'm too, too, yeah, you're right. It, I, I'd have the same problem that it came up when I was an actress, which was you're like, like, excuse me, I will not be seducing that diplomat. <laughs> <laughs> you have any idea how that diplomat spoke to me? We are done with this seduction no, to save I would the world. Be a professional. <laughs> I would be a professional. That's the fantasy um, <laughs> that I would do. I would follow my instructions, even if it's, you know, drinking uh, poison. Cut to us on the podcast. Yes. Yeah, so I was seducing this diplomat for the CIA. <laughs> Don't worry. No one's listening to this. People keep ratting on me <laughs> to the to the Russians for the things I'm saying on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What a fascinating story. I can't think of her name, but that woman that's like did exactly what we're talking about and got herself killed. But wait, really? Someone yeah, was this like was huge. This was I can't remember her name. She had dark wavy hair. It, you can look it up on Wikipedia, but all these people are connected in that she she was a she was a she had there was sexual stuff and wait, are you talking about the Russian woman? Yeah, the Russian spy that was like sleeping with the Americans. Yeah, I think so. She had like red hair. I don't know. I, okay, I, I know about what's her name. If you said her name, I'd remember. Really famous name. It's like recently. It's like Trump era. No, uh, no, 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 no. This is like um, Clinton. Maybe. Clinton era. Yeah. Okay, no, I don't know this. Okay. Uh, anyway. She was like going on the radio? Known on the radio? Well, there wasn't podcasts back in Clinton era. How'd she get herself killed? She was bragging about spying? How did she get herself killed? I don't remember the details. I read the whole freaking wiki. It's a lot of information. Okay. Um, And I didn't retain it, apparently. But she, how did she get herself killed? She got, you know, it's however, how they all get, not all of them, but how some of them get themselves killed. They, she got, I think she took on one too many cases. You know, one too many, met one too many. It, it got a little too, uh, she got more power. Whatever it was, was she had to go. Mm-hmm. Um someone they found out about what information she had whatever it was um but yeah i always thought like i could do that uh but i don't speak any other languages and i think that's a <laughs> <laughs> it's really limiting i even took as an adult took spanish for years but i don't study 
I really want to be a part of the team that builds the new H-bomb. But I wasn't very good at, <laughs> at, at chemistry <laughs> in high school. Remedial, I got a C in remedial chemistry. So I don't know if I could do it. But, yeah. But, but it's my, so, man, is it my dream. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, well. Um, I want to be an Olympic swimmer. I mean, I'm five foot four, but I, man, my dream. <laughs> I could be like a CIA guy's wife. Yeah. You know, you could be a Russian spy. Like I'll present well at the dinner parties. You would have been. You, you seem like you could be a Russian spy. I could. Right. You kind of look like uh, the Americans chick, Carrie Washington. Well, God bless you, but I don't look anything like her. But Carrie um, Russell. I Carrie passed Russell. her. I used to live in Soho, and uh, I passed her on the street once, and she looked just like she did. I discovered a girl that was on the on the Americans. No one cares. Um. So the thing that I have a great record for finding actors before they blow up. So the thing that I really, really like is is the is when I can get validated for something when I'm in a situation where I can read something and then it's not it's okay for me to go, hey. Did I, was that, was I, were you thinking this or was that, you know, for whatever the situation is and the person can neither like validate or invalidate. I'm always right. Um, (laughs) I know, we know you think that. So (laughs) when I was in high school, I got, they used to say uh, um, sexuality was my superpower. Uh I'm just very sensitive to that kind of stuff. So one time we were in a college house in in a in the living room in a in our college house and a bunch of people were over and um we're sitting and watching a movie and <laughs> walks in the front door and 51. I what's that fifty one I think she wasn't wouldn't even much she loves this story okay okay <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna believe her name I think she loves this story um finally ends up suing us. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I can't believe it. <laughs> um, she walks to the door, and I look over, and I point to her, and I go in front of like 11, 10, whatever it was, people, and I go, you just had sex. And she went like white and was like in front of everybody. She just goes, I just lost my virginity. Knew it. Was it all the blood coming down her? <laughs> um, <laughs> that was gross, but <laughs> I don't know what it was about my intuition. <laughs> but <laughs> it was the look on her face and the blood streaming down her legs. <laughs> the combo of the two things gave it away. <laughs> she was walking kind of weird into the room. <laughs> The look of disappointment for it only lasting a minute. Uh, <laughs> Who was the guy? Someone that she dated for a while after For that. a long time. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Yeah, they're very serious relationship nice. after that. Um, <laughs> what a gross joke. Uh, <laughs> what so, it was about that intuition. So I have a situation. <laughs> right now. Where... What's presented, I. Is this is a new situation or this is. Don't worry about the details if it's a new situation or an old situation. So it's an old situation. Enough with you. Yeah, okay. Well, I know the. Enough. <laughs> With you. I was like, I was you like, you don't know anything. <laughs> am I getting, am I getting new information or am I, you're not am getting, I, any am I getting, regurg- you're getting regurgitated? Any- <laughs> you're not, you're getting new information. I'm talking about a, a, a theory, a theory. Okay. A game theory, if you will, as if, you know, as if life were like the game of survivor. Oh, that's, you know, that's interesting because they, you know, when we talk about people having game, like, I think the the basis for that's probably the same as game theory because game theory is all about like playing out how to well, how to win a situation, but and having game is like naturally being able to win a situation. Yeah, um, game theory though, I think I think and please someone correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, focuses on um, it's not results oriented, so like. Explains a lot about U.S. foreign policy. 
<laughs> um, well, because when I took game theory in college, it was like all based around like policy things. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, like playing out scenarios. Gotcha. So, right. It's like, I love that shit. But, um, so, wait, so I am, so like the uh, Survivor, um, like super fans and people that go really deep into game theory for Survivor like to, like Rob has a podcast, is one of the most po- popular and like they're excellent um, Survivor podcast. I would also argue though that my thing about game theory and game being similar, I don't think game is necessarily results oriented, but results are a byproduct of game just as results are a byproduct of game theory. Right. People like results. Yes, people think people who think in results typically don't get but them. But game theory, like for Survivor, is not results oriented, mm-hmm. and that to me is like not my thing. It's perpetual survival. It's perpetual. It's maintaining. Um. Yeah, it's staying alive. Well, I always say like like with people who sleep with lots of people, people who have tons of game. What I've always said is like what I've noticed about friends of mine who sleep with lots of beautiful women all the time Mm -hmm. is I notice that they're flirtatious with everyone, no matter whether they're interested in them or not. Their M.O. is to be in a perpetual state of flirtation, Mm -hmm. that it's their natural being. Yes. So it's like it's like I watch. Almost anyone want to have sex with them because they're very like open and playful and whatnot with everyone. Mm -hmm. I'm always like the way they are with flirtation is the way I at times when I'm at my most annoying am with like trying to be funny constantly. Mm -hmm. Just trying to make a joke out of any situation or conversation I'm having is with their MO of just like being very like oh playful with everyone. No, I think it's less effortless than having to... It, it, you're saying coming up with a joke is like I don't think people no, I'm like eff- that. I, are- I believe I'm effortlessly being funny. I think I think there are times in my life where I struggle more to stop to turn it off mm. than to keep it going. Gotcha. So as I was saying, <laughs> game theory. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, talking about um, this person who may or may not be a new person. I didn't say this person. Okay. I said situation. The situation shit. Edit, Josh. God. 56. Fucking Christ. 56, 50. Ugh, this is going to be a lot of work tomorrow for me. God. It's going to be a three minute long podcast. What's, what's, <laughs> what's Basically, time? the podcast is going to be the clip. Um, it's 50, 57 minutes. Okay. So, um,. It's only like a word or a sentence here and there. Okay. So so this situation, mm-hmm. to me, talking about wa- wanting validation for my intuition and, and particularly feeling it strongly in this situation. At first, I didn't understand the situation. And I was just confused truly like just like confused like, huh okay oh just whatever just not thinking that much of it just being like that's I don't understand what any of that is and then as I started to put pieces together I could in retrospect then what I believe is pretty much like really understand someone's thoughts and a lot of their feelings when what is being presented to me what, or what is attempted to be presented to me is like very kind of straight. Mm-hmm. And so... I really want the validation of, of being proven correct. Yes. And you're, you're it would be a win win. It'd be, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Well, what's happening, uh, is I'm operating with what I'm presented. Do you think if you were validated and proven correct in your thought, you'd be over it and move on? No. No? No. 
I don't. We're this. We can't talk about this. What do you? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, about whatever this. hypothetically we're discussing. Yeah. <laughs> whole thing. Edit the whole thing. You better. Uh, you better let me release this episode. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, we're gonna we're cut. Editing. We're gonna cut all those good parts out, but there's a lot of them. <laughs> Most of it out. Yeah. <sighs> we could also release. You know, part two of the no more TikTok because yeah. we did we did call one episode <laughs> part one with no follow up. <laughs> there are people sitting there. Wondering, this is like the first time in the history of of entertainment that they're like uh, part one of two, and then part two comes out like five episodes later. <laughs> <laughs> where was where was that part two of that thing we I were? Know, I know. We and said part up. one is so like. Part one of No More TikTok is a lot of, um, what is it? It's like a lot of these trends on TikTok about really uh, uh, the extreme amount that these young people, and, and, and adults get into it too, though, of um, analyzing like to a scientific point, like their physicality and then like what that means. And like, it's really fucked up. And uh I don't know how you monitor children these days on the um, on the Internet, but it's uh, I don't know. I guess we talk about a lot of things, but I, I, I think it's so it's fine, but it's not like uh, it's a little. You know what I mean? Can I can I say that um, like like going back to kind of a thing that we were talking about earlier in the podcast when I was being upset about how no one brings me up when talking to you about it? I think there are three. <laughs> I think that there are, I think that there are three versions of this podcast. Uh -huh. So each episode falls into one of sort of three categories, uh -huh. which is one is like you with one of your friends who's kind of like wild and involved in something that's like almost. I don't want to. I mean, sometimes literal sex work, but something, something in like the vein of it, whether it be like exotic dancing or mm -hmm. or actual sex work or mm -hmm. or like m massage, sexual position training mm -hmm. or something. And that's like I think people get real into kind of the wildness mm -hmm. of those episodes. Mm -hmm. And then I would say that maybe th everyone's favorite thing, which I think is ironically your least favorite thing, mm -hmm. is. Frequently, when you do the episodes with Nikki, mm -hmm. you get very personal right. and honest and intimate mm -hmm. with it. And I think that might be what people are respond to maybe the most of everything. It is what, it is what people and respond it's, and to. And it's the, the thing you're the most. Um, it's what they respond to. Even on my like slutty dance account, mm -hmm. I'll do stories of me just being myself and by far gets the most interest. And and uh, yeah, but then but you are frequently like, I don't want to release this intimate person you're like i i hate these episodes i don't want to watch it and then and then there's me where it's mostly just us being funny and people it are is, like don't is, care i am <laughs> i am jesus and and i mean that in that i in the non-psychotic way it sounded coming out of my mouth <laughs> no but i i have been told that i'm the chosen one and i'm not i can't be cocky about it so. <laughs> me too but by my mom <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, uh, yeah, I, I got Morpheus. to, no, you're my mom. <laughs> I got to, like, I know this is who I, this is who I am. It's, it's who I've always been. Mm -hmm. And there's, it's not like, there's no one out there going like surprised. Mm -hmm. Like it's just more Hillary. So, um, and most people are, are, are just overwhelmingly supportive. Um, I mean, people going out of their way to text me like, and it's all, it's a very similar message. Keep it up. It's great. Keep going. And I, and that to me is so, it, it's so unexpected. And also because I don't have that, so that people in my life going get that, that for people like outside of a closer circle to, to send that message to me means the world to me. Um, so yeah, it's just so like to answer your question before, like, no, I don't think I'll stop doing it, but I don't know what it's going to turn into. Oh, we didn't talk about Vegas. We're going to plan Vegas. Yeah, but that, that, I that, think we should do a show in Vegas. Yeah, we'll talk about that after we're done. We don't need to talk about it on the show. Um, but but uh, 
But yeah, no, I agree with you. And what I think is good and why I think you should, why I think you should stop not releasing episodes you record is to continue to get that homogeny that I think keeps people on their toes and gives each of your styles of fans something to enjoy every other episode. Yes, yes, I you get, agree you with get, you. You get the, wi- just, you get I, the I, wild ones, you I get the do have personal ones, and you get the funny ones. There's two sides, too. So, so when someone is like, as when people are, I they're so kind to me, they're so supportive, and I have that, <clears throat> you know, I'm just treated like I'm special, you know? And it people that have that in their life, then I'm going to say almost always have some people in their life that as soon as you start to get a certain amount of attention that's going to be a problem oh yeah well. and so and this has happened to my in my life like that what i was talking about like that time at ucb like you get you start to things people go oh things are going well for this person and i don't know for whatever my experiences in life are and as a woman i um i get scared and so I have to like this time I'm like challenging myself to just keep going because what else is there to do? But like I am afraid. Like I mean, if I'm to pick my favorite non me episode of the show, <laughs> <laughs> if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm to pick my favorite non me episode this of the show, this is my favorite bit you've ever done. <laughs> If I'm going to pick my favorite non-me episode of the show, it would probably be that third episode that you recorded with Nikki that was solo, where where you basically were just solo telling stories. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was the most fun and interesting one. Thank you. Personally. Thank you. I was like, because, you know, I'd say I probably have fully listened through to 70% of them. Again, the only reasons I don't or just don't have time and just have to do the edits. But I think that was the one I was the most engaged in, like like uh, in my 200% speed. Yeah, uh, so I have a second to. one of those recorded, so I should put that one out because yeah, it's got, another there's, one there's of just two, stories. Have, we just have to bleep someone's name you just have to go through. many, many times because I, as I started just saying it because I was so angry, right, I just watch, said it over watch and over watch it, Watch it over eight times so you get all the bleeps because... Oh, it's wild how I miss <laughs> them. It's wild. I mean, I really sit there and focus. Okay, anyway. Um, Josh, uh, truly Josh... I really love you. I love you too, Hillary. And I love doing the podcast with I, you. I really enjoy it as well. And it really adds a um, significant amount of joy to my life. Oh, thank you. Not you specifically, but the whole part yeah. in general. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, it's good to be back. This was This was a lot of fun to do. And this is my first time really talking at all about what what happened for me in my last month even though we only talked about really a, a tiny month on on anything since being back oh okay i thought you went to anyone i was like i find that hard to believe i mean it, like on instagram people ask questions and they oh, answer okay. well yes it's very nice to have you back don't do that again it's gonna be <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be gone again multiple times oh god <laughs> okay well uh we love you too each and every one of you even the ones that shouldn't be listening and hey if you like something about what i'm saying tell hillary you'll <laughs> get back please. to me please i'd love please. to i'd love to hear the feedback for my mental health <laughs> okay bye <laughs>